It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the Sunshine State at Everbank Stadium here in Jacksonville. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kickoff straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. The punter, Logan Cook, set to start the proceedings, and we are underway here in Jacksonville. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. So the Packers make their way out for the first time, and it's Jordan Love that has the keys to the car here in his fifth season as a pro and second as a starter. And Love established himself as a legitimate franchise quarterback a season ago. And let's not forget, he had to exhibit a lot of patience, waiting for his opportunity to become the man. And once he got that chance, he hit the ground running. The question now from the rest of the league, can he sustain that success? The Packers certainly believe he will. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and making sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Love now. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. I think you put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. That is Josh Hines Allen working his way in for the sack. But defensively, you really can't script the start much better. You get a three and out and a sack. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. They kept him short of a first down on first and second down. And then on third down, they pick up a sack. What tremendous momentum for them to start this game. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. So here come the Jaguars to take over for the first time behind Trevor Lawrence, their quarterback in season number four. Last year was a bit of a mixed bag for Lawrence as he started off looking like a budding superstar, but then he suffered an ankle injury and was a shell of himself the rest of the way. His team needs him to stay healthy if they plan on maximizing their full potential. And if that ends up being the case, they'll have a good shot to win a lot of games here in 2024. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars' offense as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Looking to throw, Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. 10 yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end 
doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. They'll run for the first time with Travis Etienne. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. He'll drop that underneath to ETN. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 38-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now Lawrence. Open man downfield is Davis. Touchdown, Jaguars. Gabriel Davis, 38 yards. And the Jags get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stuff it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Extra point attempt here still to come. And this is up and good. The score now 7-0 Jaguars. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Yeah, that's a nice pickup there, especially when it comes on the heels of a three and out the first time you have the ball. They were determined to not have that happen again, and that's a nice throw for their first first down of the game. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And the return across midfield into the 46-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10.
Lawrence. A short throw there to Strange. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll make it second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and eight. Here's Lawrence. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? From the shotgun, Lawrence eluding the pressure right. Great vision there by Lawrence as he scrambles for a first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. On first and 10, it's ETN. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. This second and four. Now Lawrence. Open man right side is Ingram. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And Ingram really came into his own a season ago as we saw him surpass 100 catches and nearly 1,000 yards for the first time in his career. He's become a major focal point for this offense, and his explosiveness can really power what they do. A give to ETN running right. They juked him. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Lawrence now off the bootleg. And he's got it. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. In motion, the tight end. Lawrence will throw. This is caught, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. And give him a full 10 yards there, second and goal. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. It's Kingsley Enigbari finding a way in to bring him down. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Here's Lawrence to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Now a field goal try coming up here for the Jags. This just a 24-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. 
You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Jacobs to start the drive up past the 30 second down coming up I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge counting down toward the midway point in quarter one love from the gun Short throw, he's got Kraft. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll come up now third and three. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Once again, it's Jacobs taken down at the 42. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and seven. Jacobs going to try the middle. And he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play, as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Love from the gun on third down. Short throw. He's got Kraft. And he is going to have a Packers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route, but he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction and was able to track the ball in another. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. On play action. Love to throw. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Play fake. Here's Love. That is caught. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. 
And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Now Love. And it's caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Jacobs. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Jacobs again. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Packers have got it back to within a score. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Extra point from McManus is good. And that'll cut it to three at After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now Lawrence to throw. A short throw to Ingram. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter... Can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. ETN up the middle, and just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second down and nine. From midfield now, Lawrence. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. 
The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Back to throw. Lawrence. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Lawrence finding Kirk there for the Jaguar first. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline. But what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. He's got his big tight end, Farrell, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. A give running right, ETN. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Now third down and seven. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Brian Thomas, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are able to stretch out their lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver. And that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. Seven. A 10-play drive that time, and it culminates in a Jags touchdown. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Jacobs from the gun. 
And he'll get this up to about the 44. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut it down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and seven. Love. Able to find his man, Kraft. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now we've got a third down and three. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid game to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. The Packers on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. Here it's third and three. Love. They go play action now. And this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This is taken at about the 14. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Jaguar football as they take over deep in their own territory. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll look to ETN to start things out. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down, ETN once more. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Got his man. That's Davis. Now inside the 25, Gabriel Davis. Touchdown, Jaguars. Gabriel Davis, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Jaguars are able to widen their advantage. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Now the try here for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. Up across the 25 and down at the 28. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Love going to break the huddle. Lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. 
It's Devin Lloyd with a pick. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Boy, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. Gabe Davis and the offense getting the football back here. He has certainly made the most of his catches so far, both of them going for touchdowns here in half number one. And we've never met a team that doesn't talk about getting off to a fast start and featuring guys that they want to have the ball early. We're seeing both of those come into play here. Off to an incredible start, got their feature guy going, and now everyone else should have opportunities. Toss left side for ETN. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Inside the red zone, and that means don't come away from there with anything less than three points, but everyone's thinking about six. They're trying to get to the end zone. They decide to run a toss. Big people up front being mobile and moving, and a running back trying to follow behind them to find yardage, and that's exactly what he did. Caught right side, Davis. And the Jags are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there, picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. ETN, and they'll run with ETN. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Second and goal from the six this time. A one more time with ETN. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. And this one is right through. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Packers' offense now heading back out onto the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive, because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Short throw. He's got Kraft. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five.
Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Short throw, he's got Kraft. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. The Packers on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This time it's third and three. Counter play with Jacobs. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. To pass, here's Jordan Love. His throw incomplete. I well, certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now a second and ten. Love looking to throw it. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards for number 11. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Here's Love. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way, a dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. So here's a first and ten at the 38. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs to the 36-yard line. Stop there. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Working out of the gun. Love. That's to Kraft, the tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 23. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. And a nice job by the two of them to not only connect on the pitch and the catch, but to carry over their practice work to the game field. They saw the adjustment by the defense, made an adjustment themselves, and picked up the first down. Throw caught by Musgrave. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 more yards there and another first down. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here? This has been death by a thousand paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet. And they're able to move it down into the red zone. To throw now. Here's Love. And he's got it. And it's a Packers touchdown. Jaden Reed. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Packers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, 
they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. He's got it, and the score's now 27-14. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And the result, a Green Bay score. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And bulldozing his way through. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Jaguars offense and Trevor Lawrence getting set for this next drive. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, <laughs> right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. In motion goes the tight end. Now Lawrence. He gets it to Thomas. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Straight ahead, ETN. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. And we often talk about defensive ends setting the edge, sometimes even the outside linebackers, but how about here? This is a cornerback essentially setting the edge and finishing off that play for a loss. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Looking to throw Lawrence. And Davis has it over the middle. And this won't be enough. A good secured tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Love now. 
That's to the sideline and incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. And this offense on third down today, they've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and seven. Love from the gun. Open man. He's got Reed. He's to the 15. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, big-time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Throwing. Love. Touchdown! Tucker Kraft. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Mm. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've <laughs> seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. McManus now for the extra point. And the lead will shrink to six. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. But Gabe Davis in the offense getting the football back here. He's the star wide receiver, and he's doing his thing so far here into the second quarter. And how you get distinguished as a star is each and every week performing to a high level no matter what they throw at you because you're always wanting to take him out of the game if you're a defensive team. How do you press him, double him, triple him, all those things, but the best players show up each and every week, solid games and some spectacular ones. And he has showed up time and time again. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. They run the option left with Lawrence, and he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. He's able to call his own number for eight that time, but it leaves him with a third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. That is caught. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Lawrence will throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. 
I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off, okay? So they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Now Lawrence to throw. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. What good hands there defensively at second down. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Lawrence. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Now Lawrence. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Looking for the out route here, and it's completed to Kirk. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando. That's where we check in with a coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Jags were treated to a strong first half from their franchise quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. He got off to a hot start with two first quarter touchdown passes through another for good measure in the second quarter. So he has been on target throughout. All right, coach. Thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in this second half. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Jaguars' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. 
And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. A shotgun snap and again the ETN. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Lawrence. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Quay Walker from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking long for Thomas. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to get this down inside of Green Bay's 15-yard line. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Boy, this has just been an offensive clinic. It's seemingly been one big play after another after another. And add this one on to the list. When you can bite off more than half the field on one play, <laughs> things are definitely working in your favor. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Lawrence to throw. Forced out to his left. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Jaguars take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Defensively by now, you know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, but we've already seen examples in this contest that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, Are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spy? But they have to come up with options because right now, he's hurting them. Lawrence going to look to throw for it. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Should have been picked. Probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion. But still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do. And, and don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm thinking. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Well, if he'd had hands, he'd be playing on offense, right? Ah, that's true. You've said that before. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Packers offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out onto the field.
About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. And the ball comes out. Love lost it. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Now Love. It's caught inside the 25. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Romeo Dobbs. 61 yards. And the Packers are able to cut into that deficit. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Now McManus for the extra point. And this one's back to an eight-point game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So now out comes this offense led by their quarterback as they take over once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so he can only go so far outside, and they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline, you know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. That's going to be caught downfield by Reed. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he has got the defense so much on their heels, got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy, and what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 48 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Love. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Short throw, he's got Kraft. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. The kick by McManus is good, and that'll get the lead down to five. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. And this offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it, the benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. A short throw there to Strange. Two yards on the pickup there. And now that sets up third and two. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Two yards still to go. Third down now. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. 
That's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. 49 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first down, right back to ETN. Dances by at the 20. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence on the slant. He's got Davis. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. Travis Etienne, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars are able to add on to that lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Now the try here for the point after. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was capped off by a Travis Etienne touchdown run. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Packers offense set to go. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second down at six. Here's Love. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. 
That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. Love from the gun on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A very well executed play. It goes for 29 yards. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Got to go with a, try to go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Play action this time with Love. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. And for the defense, their third sack of the game. That number tells you that they're starting to put it together with their defensive game plan. They're starting to feel pretty good about what the offense is doing, bringing the pressure at the right time, and putting the quarterback on the ground. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. They will run the draw with Jacobs. Well, hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Love. They go play action now. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. Love looking to throw it. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And I could see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Here's second and 10. To throw now, here's Love. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Jacobs going to try the middle. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Josh Jacobs, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers are back within a score. Ah, what a luxury it is to be able to call a bowling ball like Josh Jacobs down near the goal line. 5'10", 220 pounds, and he's not afraid to get in there and get the tough yards. He finishes off this drive with a touchdown run. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Oh, 
And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalized. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Wilson. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. And now the Packers get set to go. And they'll take over here following the interception with good field position and a chance to take the lead with a touchdown. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And a short gain down to about the 33. Trayvon Walker makes the tackle. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Love now. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback, so that's the right call there to just throw that one away. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. Looking to throw. Love. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. That's a nice design there. But sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you. But maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. They go with Jacobs. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The field goal would have been a pretty decent length, but I'm still kind of surprised they didn't kick it. Yeah, I know, because you think you take the three there, trust him. But at the same time, if you can't pick up a few inches in this situation, you probably don't deserve to win the game anyway. Go get it, and they did. Ventrell Miller, the one to bring him down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. And they'll come up second and seven. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 83 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Josh Jacobs takes it in from a yard out. And the Packers have taken the lead here this third quarter. So he had the nice run to get him down there. Was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. The Packer offense and Jordan Love staying out there. So they're going to try to go for two. 
They'll try to run it with Jacobs. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage milestones and win or lose. His name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. Here now, second and four. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And Lawrence going to smartly hit the deck here as he is able to pick up the first down in the process. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now Lawrence. Touchdown, Jaguars! Gabriel Davis, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. But plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back a try here for the extra point and that will make this a four point game so that drive spanned five plays and it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis
After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Packers offense and running back Josh Jacobs set to take over once more. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Throwing. Love. That's complete to Dobbs. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Now a second and six. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 98 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Play fake. Here's Love. To the sideline and incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Second and ten. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And he is close to a first down as he's tackled at the Jaguars' 34. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he is going to have a Packers first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Running it with Jacobs. There's the stiff arm. Oh, and now some space to operate. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 13 yards, first down Packers. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Going on the ground with Jacobs. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Second and a couple.
Switching things up, they'll throw it now with Jordan Love. He'll go over the middle to read complete. He's got another first down, and he's also just a few yards short of 200 for the ball game. Operating from the gun, Love. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Jacobs will take this one in for a Packer touchdown. And this is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On the counter, ETN. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. They'll come up now third and nine. Lawrence will throw. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. On first and ten, it's ETN. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That was a good run. Probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Two yards to go, second down. Thomas goes in motion left. Off to Thomas on the left side. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down.
Now Lawrence to throw. A short throw there to Strange. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Just need a yard here. Second and one. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. From the gun, it's Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Here's Lawrence to throw. He targets Ingram for another grab. Call it a gain of six on the play at its second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 29, here's the second down and four. Again, it's Lawrence. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And down inside the 15 he goes. 63 yards receiving for him now. And that last catch good enough for a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Lawrence and that went too far in front he couldn't reel it in it's incomplete I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback but when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it it helps have the big gun in this case just a little bit too much so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down a give running right ETN and all down inside the five to the four. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. ETN. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three but could not get the ball over the chalk. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you want are, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Now Lawrence. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. They'll try to run with ETN. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Travis ETN with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jaguars have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Point after, right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was capped off by a Travis Etienne touchdown run.
After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The visitors' offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And as we take a look at some of the highlights, we see just how impactful he's been. He and his quarterback have such a great chemistry together, and it's been on full display throughout the contest. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. <laughs> they watch the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets him right back up to that level. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Love. That is brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. On now is the Packers punter as he's on here to punt it away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return, and out will come the offense as they take over. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession, and this defense has got to be at its wit's end trying to come up with ways to keep him contained. He's had so many opportunities to tuck it and go, and he's turned a number of those opportunities into big plays. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. ETN up the middle. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up, and you're staring at an important third down. Here comes third down at seven. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Jaguars. Gabriel Davis, 68 yards. And the Jags use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. So that one, his fourth touchdown catch of the game, one behind the all-time record of five. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. 
scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And yeah, the script really has flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And this one is incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Working out of the gun. Love. Short throw. He's got Kraft. Five yards. Now it's third and five. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. And he is going to have a Packers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Now Love. That's to Kraft, the tight end. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Able to find his man, Kraft. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Got Dobbs over the middle. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. To throw now, here's Love. And it's a Packers touchdown! Tucker Kraft. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. 
Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead down to a single point. So still a little work to do here, but they got the much-needed conversion. So they got that taken care of. Now you would assume onside kick in order to try and get the ball back again, in order to try and kick at least a tying field goal. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Jaguars offense and Trevor Lawrence getting set for this next drive. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here now a third down and eight. Back to throw. Lawrence. And he will have a Jaguars first down, and that ought to be the one that seals the victory. And they'll indeed take a knee. Thirty-eight yard line, second and eleven. Straight ahead, ETN. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, 
They're going to need some work going forward. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Jaguars are winners here as we say so long.